Jacob, Jacob, honey, it's time to go back to class. Yes, the bell's gonna ring in 30 minutes. And I already gave you an ice pack. You already took a little nap. It's time to get back to class, okay? Nurse Alexandria. Mm hmm. A lice check. Five students. Okay, send them over. Mm hmm. Hi, honey. Are you here from Mrs. Nitz's class? Okay, let me see your nurse pass. Thank you. Okay, honey, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up your chart here. And your teacher has informed me that there has been a bit of a lice outbreak in your classroom. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, it's far more common than you think. Um, so I am going to be having to perform a lice check on you and a couple of other students. Yes, so... So you're actually my first student, okay? Have you ever had a lice check done before? No. No? Okay. So do you know, do you even know what lice is? Yes. You do? Yeah. They're pretty much little insects that feed off of your blood on your scalp. Yes. And it gets very, very, very itchy and they're just crawling around on your head and it can cause headaches and, you know, have you been feeling sick at all lately? A little bit? Okay. Let me check your temperature. Okay, well, it doesn't look like you have a fever. Have you been having an itchy head at all? Yes, recently. Recently, a little bit. Okay, well, we're going to do the lice check on you. It should take about three minutes or so. It doesn't take that long for me to find out if you actually do or don't have lice. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to need you to just sit down right here on this chair. I'm going to grab a few things and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, sweetie, I'm back. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove your headband. so cute. Where did you get it from? From Target? Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just using my fingers and a little flashlight, I'm going to go ahead and start checking your scalp, okay? So just relax. Just going to take a few minutes. Um, I am going to have to be whispering or just talking really low. Um, because we are having our star testing, as you may already know. Mm -hmm. So, we just have to be a little bit quiet, okay? Have you ever had lice before? No. Okay, so I'm just going to check right here behind your ears because they do like to sometimes hide behind your ears. But no, it doesn't look like you have anything. You said you do get itchy sometimes. You said you do get itchy sometimes? Mm -hmm. Like where exactly do you get itchy? Um, like behind my ears. Yeah, behind your ears. Okay, let me see. Let me check this one. Okay. Okay, students, settle down, settle down, settle down, okay? We don't need anybody being loud. We are having testing for other grades, so if you guys can please keep it down. Okay, honey, well, I don't see anything. I mean, I do see that your scalp is a little bit dry, so I can go ahead and just apply a little bit of oil um, just for your dry scalp, okay? So give me one moment. I'm going to go bring it from the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of this oil. This is really good for your dry scalp because that's probably why it's feeling itchy. Um, I saw a lot of dry patches. So I just put, just put a few little drops. Just a few. Just a few. And I'm just going to massage that into your hair, okay? Okay. Just into your scalp. I'm just going to massage this in your scalp 
and I'm going to send a note home to your parents so that they can um, buy you some head and shoulders, okay, for that dry scalp. Okay. All right, honey, well, I'm going to give you your nurse pass, and I'm going to let your nurse, I mean, I'm going to let your teacher know that you are good to go. You do not have lines. Where's my pen? Here it is. Okay, sweetie. Okay, so go ahead and just take this back to class and have a good rest of your day, okay? Bye. Okay, next, sweetie, so you are the next student for the lice check. Um, so I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked the last student. Have you ever had lice and have you ever had a lice check done before? You have not. Okay. Do you know what lice is? Yeah, you've heard about it? Yeah, it's just little insects. Very contagious. They um, feed off of the blood on the scalp, yes, and they multiply by the day, mm -hmm. and like I said, very contagious, so, yeah, so it's, it's pretty common in elementary school, mm -hmm. sometimes even in middle school, so you just have to remember to not share any of your hair products, like brushes, combs, um, headbands, hair clips, hair ties, um, also try not to share like pillows and stuff like that, I know you young kids like to go to sleepovers and stuff, but um, try to wear your hair up in a ponytail or a bun or maybe even in a braid um, just to minimize the minimize the chance of getting them, yes, because if you have your hair out all the time like me but don't worry, I wear Lice Preventative Shampoo. Mm -hmm. They do sell it at Walmart. You can um, ask your parents about it. Well, actually, let's see, because it doesn't even look like you have lice. Yeah, so I'm just going to take a quick look, okay? Just take a few minutes to see whether or not you do or don't have lice. So, just relax. And have you been feeling itchy at all? No itchiness. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because usually when you do have lice, you definitely feel an itchy head. Yes. I'm going to start off by brushing your hair. Okay. This is a brand new brush. Yes. I'm just going to start off by brushing your hair. That way, I can go ahead and look through it easier, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look. Yeah, so just relax. I know a lot of my students find these lice checks to be really relaxing. Yeah, and some of them even fall asleep. Yeah, that's how you feel the need to close your eyes and fall asleep it's totally fine with me yes okay, okay. so let's go ahead and just go ahead and look this way yes and I'm just going to go ahead and look towards the bottom of your head. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any lice from what I can see. Yeah, usually I would have seen one by now or I would have at least seen a little bit eggs that they lay. Yes. Um, I actually don't see anything, so. Looks like you're all clear. Yes, I did not find any lice or any eggs in your hair at all, so you should be good to go, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and give you your pass mm -hmm. so that um, 
you can get back to class and this will just let your teacher know that you're clear, okay? All right, honey, well, I'll see you around. Bye, Bye. sweetie. Are you also here for the lice check? Um, yes. Okay, so go ahead and just sit down right here. We're gonna perform a quick lice check. Yeah, this should be quick. Um, you know, you don't have much hair. Let me just grab my flashlight just so that you can make sure. Have you been um, feeling itchy? Has your head been feeling itchy at all? No. Any headaches? No. Okay. You should be clear, but we just want to make sure. Yeah, so there was actually a lice outbreak in your classroom. So we're just checking all the students, okay? But it looks like you're actually clear, honey, so you're good to go. Where's the nurse pass? Uh, she can give me one. Are you in Mrs. Nitz's class? No. Okay. Well, you already know that you're supposed to have a nurse pass, so if you're here without a pass, then you are skipping class. Is that what you're doing so we can go to the principal's office? No. Get back to class. Back to class. So you are next up for the lice check. So I'm just going to ask you a few of the same questions that I asked the other students. So have you ever had a lice check before? Have you ever had lice? No? Okay. And have you been feeling sick lately? Any headaches? Any itchiness on your head? No? Okay, so there was a little bit of a lice outbreak in the school, specifically in your classroom. Yes. So I'm having to check all of the students one by one, okay? So this does not mean that you have lice or anything like that. We just have to do a quick check just to make sure. Um, and then you'll be back on your way to class, okay? So I'm gonna start off by removing your headband. Super cute headband. I'm going to just start off by wetting your hair a little bit, okay? So. I have some water here. So I'm just going to comb it out. That way there isn't any knots. That way we can section it and take a good look, okay? wet it, that way I can comb it out for you. Okay, so I'm going to take my special comb. And this is new, of course, so um, I do use new brushes for each lice check, so do not worry, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start brushing out all of the knots. Let me know if I'm being... Um, let me know if I'm pulling too hard, okay? So we're just gonna take out the knots, take out the knots, take out the knots, take out the knots. out all of the knots just relax 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 okay so now just using my fingers I'm just gonna take a quick look okay
So I'm going to check right here, just like around your ear area, um, because that is usually where they like hiding. Mm -hmm. we are all done with your lice check yes and it doesn't look like you have any lice okay so i'm gonna go ahead and give you your nurse pass that way you can get back to class and i will be letting your teacher know that you are clear okay all right sweetie let me go ahead and give you that nurse pass okay all clear all right so here's your nurse pass and you can go ahead and get back to class, okay? Alright, have a good rest of your day, honey. So you are the last life check of the day. Okay, so where's your nurse pass? And you are also from Mrs. Nitz class, correct? Okay. And have you ever had a life check done before? <clears throat> Is that right? Yeah, I thought you looked familiar. Okay, so um, what happened after your last visit? Were your parents able to treat you at home? You forgot to give them the letter? Okay, okay well let's take a look and let's see if you have any lice. Um, so I'm gonna grab my Right off the bat, I do see a few, a few of them already, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and fast forward to the treatment. And we're going to be plugging them all out, okay? Plugging them all out, okay? Alright, so first I'm just going to brush your hair. So yeah, don't worry, this is a brand new brush, okay? So I'm going to use this special lice spray. Yes, I've used it before. It's not the same one that I used on you last time. I actually ran out of that one, but this one's a lot better. It works instantly. Mm -hmm. And this one is also a preventative spray. Yes, so let me go ahead and go ahead and just close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, what? It smells like, it smells like sunscreen. No, honey, it's not sunscreen. No. I'm gonna go ahead and just rub the product in. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
make sure that it gets every inch of the scalp because they only dye through direct contact yes so no honey it might smell like sunscreen but it's not sunscreen no it's a special medicine that's used for bugs yes ma'am Okay. All right. So all of the lies should be dead at this point. Yes, because like I said, it works instantly. So now I'm just gonna go in and go ahead and pluck them out. Okay. Um, let's do that. Okay. So I found the first one. Honey, okay? We're almost done. Just relax, relax. Things gonna be okay. I am getting rid of all of them, okay? You're not gonna have an itchy cat anymore. We're just going to leave that one alone because it's pretty much dead. It's just like half of its body. Yeah. All right.
and give you one more check with the flashlight just for a closer look yeah sometimes when i use the flashlight mice are really afraid of light yes so when the light starts hitting them they'll start running around through your hair mm -hmm. so that's how they're easier to spot Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more. Mm -mm. Looks like we got all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, it wasn't that bad, right? Alright, honey, so we are all done with the lice check and the treatment. You are clear and good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and send an email over to your teacher letting her know that you're clear. And um, I'm also going to be giving you this paperwork. Mm -hmm. Make sure your parents read it, okay? Because they will have to continue the treatment so that you're not back in my chair, okay? Alright, Danny, well, you can go ahead and get back to class and have a great rest of your day, okay?